Auditors have now released a report evaluating the Postal Service's readiness for the 2024 general election. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter has been combing through that report. She's breaking down what is specifically said about Georgia's mail service after months of complaints from customers. Tonight, we're getting a look at how ready the United States Postal Service is ahead of the 2024 general election after the Office of Inspector General released an audit looking at dozens of USPS mail processing and delivery centers across the country, including the Regional Processing and Distribution Center in Palmetto. The report identifies issues related to, quote, a lack of preparation for election processes. We spoke to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger a few days ago in anticipation of this report being released, who said he's been skeptical about the USPS service ahead of the election. We can't control the United States Postal Service, and they're a mess right now. The audit also cites truck wait times on March 11th were at 20 hours, ultimately concluding that the Atlanta mail facility did not properly prioritize electional and political mail processes. It's important to note however, that this audit took place around Georgia's presidential primary and just 17 days after the facility opened. USPS did respond to the audit, saying significant improvements have been made over the past few months in Georgia. As the audit reveals new details, Secretary Raffensperger is offering voters this piece of advice. If you're going to vote absentee, to get your application in early, and then as soon as you get your ballot, then send it back as soon as you get it. A spokesperson with USPS shared this statement with us this afternoon, echoing they are committed to the secure, timely delivery of the nation's election mail, adding that they are expanding processing procedures and adding extra delivery and collection trips. Reporting in Atlanta, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.